Dr Afshin Shahi is a terrorism expert at Bradford University. I asked him if this type of campaign was really necessary. There are less terrorism activities taking place in 2017 than about 50 years ago. But that doesn't mean terrorism is more irrelevant. When you think about it, actually, um, number one security issues that is really facing everybody, not only in Yorkshire, but in the rest of the world, is, for example, environment, is food security, is water security. Although terrorism is very important and we all have to be very vigilant about it, but we should refrain from uh, panicking. Is this the right approach, then? Uh, I don't see any harm uh, to ask people to be uh, vigilant, but we're dealing with a very multifaceted and multidimensional problem. Radicalization is a very, very complex process, and it requires a complex and multifaceted and more comprehensive solution. In my opinion, it would be very simplistic to only rely on the security establishment to resolve this problem. This is a sociological, cultural, economic, and political problem and requires a more comprehensive approach if you really want to address it. And is there a bigger risk of terrorism here in Yorkshire compared to the rest of the country? Uh, statistically, no. Actually, when you do look at kind of uh, uh, the terrorism map of uh, Britain, if I can use such a term, uh, Yorkshire is not basically listed as a number one uh, kind of destination. There are more problematic areas in this country uh, than Yorkshire. They're quite um, keen here to stress that it's not just about Islamic terrorists. That's a bit of a change of course for them, isn't it? Islamic terrorism constitutes only a kind of fraction of uh, terrorism, the type of terrorism that we are facing in 21st century. And if you genuinely want to address extremism, if you genuinely want to address uh, terrorism, you need to have a wider picture. And I think it is extremely unhelpful to only focus on one uh, kind of type of uh, terrorism. Thank you for joining me. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Let's get some news in brief.